Sharknado was released in 2013 on the Sci-Fi Channel and was produced by The Asylum and follows the story of a group of survivors that are trying to escape a deadly hurricane in Los Angeles that is filled to the brim with deadly evil sharks. And as they attempt to escape LA, they also must try to find a way to get rid of these sharks once and for all. Guys, Sharknado was a huge phenomenon when it was released in 2013, spawning five sequels after its release. It has become a bit of a cult classic among people, and is also considered one of the best So Bad It's Good movies of all time. And people just genuinely really enjoy this movie for how schlocky and bad it is. And sadly, I'm not a part of that group. I remember specifically when this movie was released in 2013. I remember the trailers that were released and the buzz around it because people were so surprised that such a schlocky movie was being released on the Sci-Fi Channel, which is interesting to me because the Sci-Fi Channel at that point was already making a ton of schlocky movies, but none of them really were as popular as this film. And, you know, The Asylum is a studio that has been making movies for such a long time that it is interesting that it didn't really get notoriety within, you know, a larger scope until this movie. And I think a lot of that has to do with the marketing behind this film, just the idea of it, the trailer, the marketing overall, I think is what made this movie so popular and why people talk about it and why it spawned five sequels because it's just another Asylum movie. If you guys don't know what The Asylum is, The Asylum is a mockbuster company that is specifically made to make trashy movies, movies that are bad on purpose. Um, and these are particularly not films that I really enjoy. When it comes to a bad movie that I like, it's typically a movie that has all intentions of being good and then just completely fails. Movies like The Room, Troll 2, um, those types of movies are made from just a honest point of view. They want to make something good and it ends up being trash. Whereas this is trash being made by people knowing that it's going to be trash. And it's a very different feeling. Um, the Asylum has also made movies like Mockbusters. Like um, when a big movie would come out, they would make a Mockbuster so that people might accidentally mistake the real movie for their movie. Like when Transformers came out, they made Transmorphers. When The Day the Earth Stood Still remake came out, The Day the Earth Stop came out, and so on and so forth. But they've also been making giant monster movies with, you know, very interesting titles, and this is just one of those ideas that stuck. Uh, it started as an inside joke and eventually became a huge hit on the Sci-Fi Channel. And um, this was recommended to me by a friend of mine, Eddie Briggs, um, during a stream for Kingdom Hearts that I've been doing on my channel, and I told him that I would eventually talk about this movie, so here I am, and he really likes this movie. It's one of his guilty pleasures, and this is definitely not a guilty pleasure for me. Um, as I said before, I like bad movies that are so bad that they're good, and the attempt is there to make a good movie, but it ends up just panning out completely wrong. Here, it's a movie, a bad movie, in fact, that's made on purpose, and it just doesn't have the same quality to it. Um, and that's why I just really could not get into this film at all. In fact, the worst sin against this movie is that it's just really dull and boring. Um, it has a fun cast to it. People like Tara Reid in it that people may know. Um, and it's also got the dad from Home Alone. But for the most part, this is just a really schlocky movie that just doesn't have anything really interesting 
going on. Um, all the fun moments are the absurdity of the premise, the whole shark thing, the bad CGI, but this is all stuff that the Asylum has done before. It just so happens that this got popular, whereas some of their other stuff didn't. And so I'm just not a big fan of the Asylum to begin with. And so they basically made a film that, for the most part, is the exact same thing that they've been doing for several years now, and it's just not that entertaining to me. Uh, the acting is bad, obviously. Uh, CGI is bad. The story makes absolutely no sense, but that is kind of the point. Um, this movie was not made to be a good movie that made that much sense. It was made to get people to watch it to be just absolutely ridiculous that people would turn it on and maybe sit down and laugh at it. But I can't even do that just because this is something that I can actually relate to. Um, my best friend and I, uh, several years back, back in high school, in fact, we wanted to make a movie and we wanted to make a so bad it's good type of film. Um, so we wrote this script and it was just absolutely horrendous. And, but we tried to make it so bad it was good. We tried to make it kind of goofy and funny that people could make fun of and laugh at. But as we were making it, we realized that this isn't so bad it's good. This is just bad and embarrassing and sad. And that is what this movie is to me. It's embarrassing, and it's sad, and it's just not that enjoyable to me at all. There's plenty of other bad movies out there that I would definitely watch over this movie. It's just a very bland movie with no soul to it. It's just a soulless film that was made for, you know, entertainment's sake just to be a bad movie for people to watch. And so with that, it's just never entertaining. It never hits the highs of something like The Room. And I just can't understand the Rotten Tomatoes score of like, you know, a 74% with like a 6.0. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to me because there are better So Bad It's Good movies out there. And I feel like if you are not aware of So Bad It's Good movies, if you've never seen one, if you've never seen The Room or Troll 2 or Birdemic, then this is probably your gateway into that kind of realm. Um, I can understand people probably enjoying this movie if they've never really seen a So Bad It's Good movie. Um, but other than that, yeah, this movie is not very good. It's not very likable. It's so goofy. I mean, that's kind of the point, but just, it was never entertaining. I was just really bored while watching it, and when you're bored, you start to pick the movie apart, and I just couldn't enjoy it in that so bad it's good kind of way, and I really wanted to. I really wanted to like this movie and give it, like, at least a six to say that, you know, this is a fun movie, but it's just really not. I think the novelty especially has worn off since it's so many years later after Sharknado was popular that it's not really even worth it watching it. It was just that type of movie that came out at the perfect time with the perfect marketing, with the perfect cast, and it just worked for 2013. But watching it now in 2021, I don't think it works. It is definitely a stinker, and uh, I mean, I can understand if somebody enjoys this movie, but for me, this is just not my type of bad movie. I'm sorry that I didn't really go into detail about explaining this movie very well. This isn't really something that um, is that difficult to understand. Um, you just know it's bad from the onset. You know that the characters are pretty bad, the acting's pretty bad, the effects, 
the story, all of that, but I wanted to go more into why I just don't think this works as a So Bad It's Good movie, and I wanted to go into why maybe people like it so much, or, you know, were gravitated towards it. But for the most part, I just cannot get into it, and I may watch the sequels at some point and review them here on the channel, but don't expect that anytime soon. So anyway, guys, with all that said, I'm going to give Sharknado a 3 out of 10. Yep, uh, sorry, Eddie, that I did not really enjoy this film, but I'm glad you do. Um, there's plenty of other bad movies that are out there that I do enjoy a whole lot more than this. The Asylum just has never been my type of studio to make a bad film that I can really enjoy, and this is a prime example of that. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to, um, very soon, I'm going to be doing my 100th classic review here on the channel, and I'm really excited to do that because it's going to be yet another viewer-requested review, but it is going to be of a movie that is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I cannot wait to talk about that. Um... I was originally going to review it on Friday, but it looks more like it's going to be on Saturday. So look forward to that review coming Saturday. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next review.